Idiocracy is a film about a dystopian future in the year 2500 where the global population is really, really dumb. And uh, there is a soldier who's sent to the future by uh, hibernation and uh, when he's sent to the future he's actually exactly the average IQ but when he arrives in the year 2500 he's the most intelligent person in the whole world. Now what if there's a little bit of truth to this uh, scenario? There is something called the Flynn effect. Flynn uh, was a psychologist who detected that the average IQ of the population was increasing. From 1932 until 1962, when he wrote about this, it has been steadily increasing by about three IQ points every decade. However, this effect has reversed. In recent years. Um, actually the peak was reached in the year 1975. So people born in the year 1975 were born in the peak of the IQ. And why has this been happening? Well, maybe this is actually correlated to our climate change. When we look at the Keeling curve in 1970, in the 70s, the CO2 level of the atmosphere was about 320. Now we are approaching 420. So maybe we have started passing a threshold where the effect of CO2 on our brain is more and more increasing. There's been some research by MIT done on subjects uh, where they have been uh, subjected to different levels of CO2 and they had to do uh, strategic work and thinking work and uh, so basically doing scores of their uh, cognitive level. And what they found was that uh, an increase of uh, CO2 from uh, 500 to 1500 uh, ppm actually resulted in a drastically lower score uh, on these cognitive tests. It was almost 40% lower than at the lower levels. Also, there was a more recent study where chess players were taken and um, then correlated to CO2 levels of the rooms they were playing in. And what they found was that for every uh, 300 parts per million that the CO2 was rising, the quality of the moves played were about 1.8% less. And this was deducted by a computer analyzing how good are these moves. And this was done across thousands of uh, chess games played in tournaments. So people were motivated to really do their best. In increasing uh, CO2 and a decreasing IQ combined with increasing problems due to climate change doesn't seem like a good cocktail. That leaves me to think, okay, we really need to look into this matter. I'm not saying this is true or not, but uh, the medical science needs to get on board. Uh, however, climate change is actually much more looked at by uh, engineers. So engineers are looking at the physics and the chemical things, but the medical science has not really written much about the impact of uh, higher CO2 levels 
that they will have on our bodies. They will say, oh, but uh, we know the effect of CO2 on the body, but we do not know the effect on, of CO2 on the body when it is long-term effects or when it is uh, the effect on adolescents uh, while they are growing up and while they are developing their mental capabilities. We need to do much more research. And maybe we need to start working on some solutions that can lower CO2 on inside of buildings to below the levels of what it is outside. So I, for one, uh, like my sharp mind, which I hope I can keep as long as, as possible. So I'm trying to work on solutions that can lower uh, the CO2 level inside of my building to maybe even uh, prehistoric levels. That would be nice to feel how, uh, how sharp or clear my mind can actually become. <laughs>